Hello YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a little um, feature you could use in Visual Studio 2019 that will help you experiment with um, .NET Core uh, 3.0 preview version before it's being released. Uh, this is mainly for people who want to experiment with Blazor, uh, the, the web framework that allows you to write C Sharp code in the browser. Uh, but you can't do it with the final release of Visual Studio 2019. So let me show you how to do that in here. So ideally, if you create a new project and you select an ASP.NET Core web application and you go through the process, what happens normally is that you will go run into a situation where you don't see Blazor as an option in here, right? Blazor gets shipped with 3.0 and you can't see that option in here so what can we do about that I'm gonna need you in here to go ahead and start your Visual Studio code without a um, without any project and then go to the options area type in .NET go to .NET Core and check that box use previews of .NET Core SDK alright that's the one part there's another part in here, I'm going to put that link for you in the, uh, in the description of this video, where you want to go ahead and install .NET Core 3. So if, if .NET Core 3 is not installed on your machine, you probably need to go ahead and, and install that. It doesn't matter which version, most versions of uh, these days uh, ship with Blazor, but I highly recommend you stay up to date so there's a preview uh, 5 version and you want to go ahead if you're using a Windows uh, operating system like myself you could just install the x64 or x86 based on your processor architecture it gets shipped in with a lot of cool features that you uh, get to experiment with alright so in you installed .NET uh, Core 3.0 and then you enabled that option if you enable that option uh, uh, Blazor won't show up as an option uh, as soon as you go and try to create a new project that's simply because you need to re restart Visual Studio. So let's close completely Visual Studio in here and let's start it again. <clears throat> All right, this is Visual Studio again, and then you create, you click create a new project, and then you select ASP.NET Core, uh, Blazor Project Demo, call it whatever you want. Click Next. All right, and then you can see here that option, the .NET 3. And with .NET 3, you get to see Blazor and GPRC service and all that cool stuff. So let's pick up the Blazor uh, project and just start a new project just to make sure everything is up and running the way we advertise it to be. There you go, and there is your, your Blazor application. very straightforward code that full services and whatnot and let's run it let's run the application let's give it a second there there it is so you click in you you load in data and all that kind of stuff if you are wondering about how you can deploy a blazer application to Azure uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description area that shows you how to do that uh, otherwise that's how you just uh, start developing with blazer I highly highly recommend you uh, pick up on that trend really early and uh, learn how to use uh, blazer components and uh, build uh, a UI with with C sharp that turns you into a full stack engineer that can build things in to end. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to drop in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.